You've probably been to a library and watched the librarian scan a book to check it out. It works because each item has a special barcode. That code saves a librarian from having to look up each book. Well, these days there are new kinds of codes that can be scanned with camera phones. And like a library scanner, they create shortcuts to all kinds of information. In our online world, everything is clickable. You can click a link and visit other sites, send a message, view a photo, or download a video. All it takes is a simple click. On the other hand, our physical world, like our classroom for instance, is what you can see in front of you. But there's one problem. Nothing is clickable. Oh, man! You can't scan a desk. You can't scan a backpack, bulletin board, or a pencil box. Wouldn't it be great if you can scan things around you to find out more information? We think so. We're going to teach you how NVLA's elementary class uses QR codes. First, we read a book and record notes in our reading notebook. Then, we have a book discussion with other students or with our teacher. Then we write out our video script. We love to be professional journalists and record our responses. Our reading responses include our opinions, text connections, recommendations, genre, and why the book caught our attention. We don't ever give away the ending in our video responses. That would be bad. Then we turn our video responses into QR codes. The QR codes go onto the book. When we look for a new book in our class library, we get to hear what others ha had to say about that book before we decide to commit to reading it. Our thoughts on the books we read live on forever, thanks to QR codes. Now, if only people had QR codes.